jogging and I went 30 minutes then it shows you your distance I went a mile point 47 and then it also shows the calories burned which is 71 calories so that is super super satisfying to look at also y'all know I need to be wearing some tennis shoes but all I have is vans so I need to invest in some tennis shoes it has been an eventful day so far this morning I had to get out because we were completely out of laundry detergent and I needed to pick up a few groceries and household things I went out to do all that and then I also got some Contigo straw cups for Jackson because I am currently in the process of taking him off of sippy cups and just going to straw cups and I like to do that when they're about two and a half just do away with like the sippy cups it's so bittersweet every time they hit a big milestone like that and then I had to go up to the school to pick up Nolan because the school nurse I swear calls me me every other week about how he has bumped his head or he headbutted another student or something has happened and this is the first time that he had got a knot on his head so the school nurse called me today and said that he was riding the tricycle and fell off of it on the concrete and he had a little knot she was like do you want to come get him and I was like I mean I will if I need to and so I talked to him and I asked him did he want me to come get him and he said yeah you can barely even see anything there's like a small little bump with a tiny little scratch on it and he said he felt better now and I'm just like you could have just stayed at school I went ahead and checked Arabella out too so I just let Jackson down for his nap Arabella and Nolan are both home so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some things done this is part two of my clean and organized video I recently did a clean and organized focused on some areas of my home we do live in a small three-bedroom house so I struggle with storage so hopefully I can give you some storage ideas I have two kids in each of the bedrooms I have two boys in the in the shared room and two girls in the shared room so I have to be really creative when it comes to storage since they have super tiny closets so I'm gonna work on that today and just some things around my house I'm gonna do so hopefully I can give y'all some motivation today and y'all can leave today's video feeling motivated okay y'all will have to excuse my fan in my bathroom it just comes on when I turn the light on so I've noticed that my scalp has been super oily lately and I just cannot no matter what shampoo or anything I use it's like within just like a day or two my scalp is just right back oily so I wanted to try this out I've never used it before I will update y'all if y'all want to know how good it works but it's just the Odell clarifying shampoo and it's for a deep weekly clean that brings you back to neutral for like product buildup and all of that so hopefully this helps I know it's really good to use a clarifying shampoo every once in a while so I'm gonna try to use this like once a week and then I'm also gonna use this scalp massager you basically just massage your scalp with shampoo with this in a circular motion all over the scalp to remove buildup and so maybe this will help my oily scalp problem. So if you're feeling like you are having an oily scalp lately, definitely pick up a scalp massager brush and then 
a clarifying shampoo. Hopefully this one works good. I really like the bottle and it wasn't a bad price and it should last a while if you only have to use it once a week. <laughs> So I'm getting started with putting my new sheets in the washer. We're going to give those a quick wash and dry and then we're going to put those on the bed and make up my bed. We're also going to be focusing on my girls room today. We're going to be stripping down their beds, getting all their bedding washed, cleaning and organizing their room. I'm also going to be organizing my kids arts and crafts a little bit better and I have an amazing storage solution if you are struggling with crayons and markers and coloring books and you don't know what to do with them. I have a really awesome solution. So lots of storage and organization and updates going on in today's video and I'm also going to share what we're having for dinner. I did a super easy dinner tonight because I was absolutely exhausted at the end of this day and also I got my kids a really fun outside sandbox table and they have been loving it and make sure y'all check my description box down below for any links that I'm possibly able to link. I love like neutral bedding that can just go with any kind of sheets so I just really love this white medallion sheet set it's actually heavy weighted but I love this sheet set and then I found the pillow covers and the sheets from Amazon and so the sheets just have little pink flowers with green stems so it really ties in that green and there's also really really tiny little blue hearts so cute but I love the texture and the coziness of these pillows that green color is so pretty for springtime I was gonna just do like blue bedding for spring but I just wasn't loving it this year so I changed it up and I'm loving loving the pink and green so we're about to head into my girls room I'm gonna wash their bedding today and focus on their room so I found these spinning organizers from Bell's outlet we have a Bell's down the road really close for me but I wanted to put these on both of my girls makeup vanity tables they're clear and they have like glitter in them and they spin so that they can organize their things on their vanities and then I got these bookshelves to go over the girls' vanities to organize more stuff. Each girl is going to get two bookshelves. There's floating shelves. Then I also picked up this stuffed animal net to go over each of the girls' beds. So we're going to put that up. So I'm just going to go in there and try to organize their room a little bit better and get it all cleaned up. And I also wanted to show you all my mama shirt. This is another shirt from Julie T's Apparel. I love her shirts. She is another YouTube mama and this is her little business and also make them custom to you if you have something specific you want. But I asked for this like ACDC print in mama and also the 90s babe one and she made both of them for me but I love them so much. But if y'all are interested in a shirt from her and want to support another YouTube mama, I will have her YouTube channel and where you can purchase a shirt from down below in my description box. Y'all also found these at Bell's today. They were only $5.99 and it's a four pound set. They feel like bean bags, but they have like a little handle on them. So you put your hand in and like hold it. So I thought like I could hold these while I'm running on my treadmill or exercising to work on my arms. So that is something new I'm gonna be incorporating. Oh, my heart won't 
So I've got their fuzzy blankets, pillowcases, and sheets going. And then next, I'm gonna wash their comforters one at a time. So I gotta wash that fuzzy blanket. I found these at Bell's today too. I just picked up four of them. They were $7 a piece, but I thought those were so cute. And those will be really fun for summer when we're by the pool. An update on this little system, y'all. It is working so good. I've got the girls' clothes, the boys' clothes. This is Nolan's nap mat because he takes that home to wash it over the weekends. And then this is my towel basket. So it has been so convenient to just have it all right here. be the only mama who is struggling with messy kids rooms. I do stay on top of my kids about putting away their laundry and putting things back where they go after they're finished with using them, but they don't always immediately put everything right back where they go. And my girls, for the most part, they do a good job with keeping their room tidied up, but it was definitely time for me to come back in here and do another mama clean. So we are going to be dusting, wiping everything down, and just kind of helping them out a little bit and organizing everything a little bit better. They were so appreciative at the end of the day when they walked in their room and everything was clean and organized. And I do have some storage solutions we're going to be doing in here with the stuffed animal nets and the shelves, and they are going to help so much. And I'm also going to include a little bit of footage of the girls seeing their room when it was completely done. So while I'm washing all the girls' bedding, I just went ahead and put their pillows and all their stuffed animals piled up on their beds because I know that I'm going to be hanging the stuffed animals up in the nets later on and we're going to be putting those beds back together later after dinner towards the end of the video. The shelves on the walls y'all they helped so much. My teenager puts her perfumes and some stuffed animals and things like that on the shelves and I know my six-year-old when she gets older she can put perfumes and whatever she wants on hers but my oldest has more stuffed animals than my six-year-old because obviously she's been alive longer. That's what I told her. Adeline was like, Mama, look at my stuffed animals and look at Bella's stuffed animals. And I was like, that's because you've been alive longer, so you've accumulated more. Eventually, Arabella will have more stuffed animals too. But my kids just love to collect and accumulate stuffed animals. And I know I'm going to eventually get one for my boys' room as well for their stuffed animals. And I just love the idea of hanging the nets over their beds so that they can have their stuffed animals close by. My teenager's space over here gets the worst because I have told y'all before that she likes to do arts and crafts so she has tons of markers and colored pencils and sharpies and all that so what I'm gonna do is organize her vanity a little bit better with that organizer I found at Bell's we are gonna put just enough 
markers and pencils and stuff that fits in it and anything extra I'm just gonna put up for later because obviously we don't need that many out and I feel like that's a part of the problem is having too much of something so obviously she doesn't need 50 colored pencils 50 markers 50 sharpies all out at once so I'm just gonna leave out some and just put those other ones up for later and as far as my six-year-old's markers and things she does not have colored pencils and markers and all of that in her bedroom I have an art caddy I'm gonna be putting together in just a a little bit that has all of their pencils and all of their crayons and markers and coloring books and it is just a wonderful solution y'all definitely have to check the link for that because it has helped me so much but we will be putting that together here in just a little bit honestly my teenager is not supposed to have like all of the markers and scissors and stuff in her bedroom but she just prefers to come in here and do her arts and crafts in here and sometimes she does them at the kitchen table too but <laughs> this is just hot mess express over here so we are going to go ahead and take care of it i was very very overwhelmed and i always am when their room gets like this but at the end of the video y'all are going to see it looks so much better and also underneath my teenager's bed she has three storage totes for her things and then she also has some cardboard boxes stacked up that my husband brings home from work because that's what she makes like her masks out of is the cardboard boxes so she just has some nice cardboard boxes stacked up under her bed for her arts and crafts and then under my six-year-old's bed she also has about three organizers with toys underneath her bed one of them has like barbies and accessories and then one has like a flower garden it's like a big puzzle flower garden thing that you can put together it's from amazon and just things like that stored underneath her bed and then all of her bigger toys are in a basket in her closet i actually did that in my last clean and organized video and as far as my teenager's things over here, I just kind of go through it and anything that I think may can go in the trash or we can get rid of, I'll put it in a pile and let her go through it. And usually the things that I pick out that are trash or to go, she usually agrees on. And some things that are clearly trash, like torn papers and things like that, I just go ahead and throw away. So we ended up with an entire trash bag of just trash that came out of the girls' room today.
organization I already had in the girls room. I have some command hooks on the inside of their door for my six year olds dress up clothes and purses and hats. And then on the back of their bedroom door, I have my teenagers hooks for her coats and purses and house robe and anything like that. So my six year olds hooks are on the back of the closet. My teenagers hooks are on the back of the door. So I wanted to take everything out of the dollhouse and go ahead and give it a quick wipe down. And I'm just going to use a basket to organize all of the dollhouse toys and just put that in here a lot more organized. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, for sure it's all funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just ooh, ooh, ooh. What we want to do tonight. Waking up at sundown, the world's our playground, and we don't even have to pretend. Every time we're together, it doesn't get better, and every day is like a weekend. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow, we just ooh, ooh, ooh. What we wanna do tonight, so don't tell. teenager go through her clothes and get rid of anything that she doesn't really like anymore or wear or anything that was too small so we decluttered through her closet I let her do that next we're headed out here and I bought two of these mesh screens since we don't have a screen door I have to leave my doors wide open all the time when my kids are playing outside and I'm busy in the house I don't like to close my doors we have a pretty private yard and obviously, I don't let Jackson just roam around in the yard alone, but my five-year-old and my six-year-old, they are old enough to know how to stay in the yard, and I just keep the doors open and all of the blinds open so I can keep an eye on them, but this way, we don't have any bugs or bees or anything like that flying into our house, but they just magnetically snap back closed whenever you come in and out. No, I can't get in. I'm stuck. What do I do? Oh my gosh, you're in jail. <laughs> So the problem with this screen net is every time a big gust of wind comes through, it busts the magnets open and sometimes they don't magnetically just close back together. Also with everybody just going in and out all the time, the top of it ended up ripping. So it's not the best quality. It's not the best material. And I ended up ripping these down because they were just not working good. Every time the wind would blow, they would just bust open and it just 
seemed like such a hassle to leave it there? Do you have to, you know, open the magnets every time you come in and out if the wind is just going to be busting it open anyways? And so I ended up taking these down, but maybe they will work better for someone else. I almost took this part of the video out, but you know what? Life is trial and error, and this was just an error, <laughs> and it's something that I wanted to try, but it just ended up not working out. Now I'm working on my junk drawer. This is a drawer that I've needed to tackle for a while. It has gotten out of control. Everything just kind of gets thrown in here. So I'm going to take everything out. We're going to wipe it down and put everything back in here more organized and also declutter some things out. I remember when I was a little girl and just younger in general, my family would always have a junk drawer that was just exploding. If you opened it, things would pop out at you. It was just shoved full of so much stuff. I don't even know how you could find anything. And I feel like that's one of the reasons I like to keep my junk drawer organized. So it still is a junk drawer where you just keep your junk in it, but it is organized so we can find everything. And I just really like to keep things organized. <laughs> but this way we know where all the pins are. We have some clothes pins that I actually use to close like bags of chips with and just random things that we use on a daily basis or just use around the house often. There's also a few chargers in here that I used to charge some of my kids toys and my little hammer and some batteries and nails and tape and command strips and just all the things. <laughs> This is the final look of the junk drawer. I've been needing to tackle this space for a really long time. It got really out of hand. Overall, it's a junk drawer. There's nothing super aesthetic about it, but we have things that we actually use in here. Anything that was not being used, I threw away or put it somewhere else where it belongs. We have extra cords, tape, our hammer, flashlight, nails, tacks. Um, we've got a few pins and markers, batteries. Just the, you know, junk drawer stuff. And then I like to keep baby wipes in here so these are accessible to my kids. My five and six year old, when they need a baby wipe to clean their hands or something or their face. And um, they can just grab one themselves. So that's convenient. And then these are all my essential oils. I used to keep them in the junk drawer because I had a diffuser in here on the kitchen counter. But it broke. So I have a diffuser on my desk that I've been using. So I'm going to go take these and put them in my desk a little table update i told y'all i didn't know what to do with this little table i had it in the boys room but there's honestly not enough room for it so i had it in my hallway and i just bit the bullet and brought it in here i really don't want it in the living room but i was kind of thinking it would look really good if i stain it like paint it with like stain or something but i don't know the kind of material it's made out of i don't know if i could even paint it but i don't know i don't want to like have to sand it down and all that but anyways i brought it in here and they are coloring So I went to Bell's this morning and got a few things and this is one of the things that I picked up. These were $7.99 and then these, do these have a price? Yeah, these were also $7.99 but we needed more Tupperware so bad. The ones that we have, I'll show you, are, oh, they're not in there, they're probably dirty in the sink but anyways, oh here they are. They're just like these glass bowls but they have plastic lids and they're all broken so I'll still keep the dishes and use them but as far as the lids, I threw those out. So this is a five piece set and then this one's a five piece set. This is for like my glass bowls and my plastic bowls and it's just a hot mess. So I really needed to tackle it in here. This is where I keep all of my lids. And then over here is where I keep just like my reusable plastic bags. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Let me go, go, let me go, let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? I think that you should let go. You know this is not meant to be let go Maybe I should have known That you are not the right one for me Let go Let me go, go, let me go, go. 
So in a recent spring cleaning video, I cleaned all of my bottom cabinets and those were the worst because my littles touch them with dirty fingers every day. The cabinets that are over my stove were bad just from like the steam from cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. So this is the pretty awesome craft activity organizer that I purchased from Amazon. It holds all of their markers, their glue sticks, pencil sharpeners, crayons, pencils, colored pencils, and the top easily comes out so that they can access their coloring books and paper and all that, and it actually holds a good bit. But if you are interested in this, along with a few other things I can link, definitely check my description box for all those links. But this thing has been working out so good. It is by far the best organizer I have it figured out for their crafts. We have a spring break here and summer around the corner. I wanted to get the kids a sand table. This sand table is directed more towards toddlers, but my five and six year old loved it too. And my two year old honestly played outside for like three hours straight in it. He had a blast. I actually had to force him to come in the house to eat dinner. He was having so much fun with this. It is no tools required, but the legs were so hard to pop in y'all. I had to like sit on them and bounce on them for him to go in, but my kids love it. So this was incredibly easy to put together. It's just a little sand table. I thought I was gonna have to screw the legs on, but they just popped right in, but they were so hard. I had to sit on them to get them to pop in. But it has like bungee cords on both sides to keep the lid on. And the top is actually like a racetrack. So the kids can drive cars through here. And it also comes with a few little sand toys. So let's go ahead and take this outside and fill it up with some sand. The kids had an absolute blast in this sand table. Jackson played in it for like three hours straight. So I took a 50 pound bag of sand and put it in the wheelbarrow. We actually had three 50 pound bags from when we did our swimming pool. And it was wet sand because it had been sitting out behind the building, but they didn't care and it's still play sand. It still worked the same, but we just put some cars and monster trucks in with the toys that came with the sandbox and they absolutely loved it. This. Now we're headed back in the house to start some dinner. I'm just gonna be making some pork chops tonight and I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I love anything that just goes in the oven or the air fryer, something that is just easy where I'm not stuck over the stove for an hour stirring things. So I just topped it with some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, basil, and a little bit of brown sugar. I rubbed that in and popped it in the oven and it was so delicious. What if I lost touch? What if I
so we got these dishes done and to pair with my pork chops I'm just gonna be starting some green beans and some rice for my green beans I like to rinse off the green beans and put some cold water in a pot with the beans some bacon grease some butter and a little bit of salt and boil those or cook them on medium high for about 30 minutes to an hour and they turn out so good if I don't have any bacon grease on hand I'll put strips of bacon in it and they just turn out so delicious for the rice I'm just using the boil in bag rice and I'm just gonna boil that for about 10 minutes and I always have to boil two bags for my family but this is what we are having for dinner super simple easy and it was so good dinner finished up my husband went ahead and hung up the floating shelves in my girls room I'm so excited to have these we have been struggling with storage space in my girls room as y'all know so I wanted to get some hammocks for their stuffed animals and these floating shelves and I know when my six-year-old gets older she can use her floating shelf to put her perfumes and other things on but for now since she cannot really reach the shelves I'm just gonna use it to just store some things up there and on my teenager side of the room she walked in and she's like mama look at how many stuffed animals I have and how many stuffed animals Arabella has because my teenager had so many more stuffed animals and I'm like well you've been alive longer <laughs> but I love the way that the hammocks turned out also in one of my recent videos I hung up this twine on the wall so that my six-year-old could hang up her artwork and she absolutely loves it and I didn't realize how unfinished this room looked until I put up the hammocks and the shelves the shelves and the hammock just really pulled this room together and made it look finished and just complete in my opinion it's definitely what it needed the hammocks have been such a game changer because I have been struggling with the girls at stuffed animals and I've tried to put them all in baskets and just tried all kinds of sorts of things but honestly this is the solution that worked the best I highly 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 recommend these little hammocks the girls can also get them down I can help my six-year-old get hers down if she wants to play with one of her stuffed animals but this way they can see them because I used to keep the stuffed animals in like a tote and store them under the bed but I honestly hated that because I'm like they can't even see their stuffed animals it's like an out of sight out of mind thing and so I love this way that they're able to see all of their stuffed animals and any of the little tiny stuffed animals that didn't fit I tried to fit some of them over there on the floating shelf I also told my teenager that she can decorate her shelves however she wants to I just kind of stuck them up there for now and she also has little keychain stuffed animals they're tiny and they have like they're just like keychain size and so I just got one of her bags to hang up on the back of her door and put all those tiny little keychains in that and the little bunny that I put up on my six-year-old side of the room on the little bookshelf that's peeper that was mine when I was a baby and it's just so sentimental so I like to display it in my girls room I actually gave it to Adeline when she was born but you know it's just for my kids in general and it's just a keepsake that I will always have <laughs> so let's go ahead and get these beds put back together and I'll get the girls reaction and show y'all what they thought of their room y'all already know we can't forget duck my longtime followers know who duck is Arabella became attached to this little duck taggy blanket that she calls duck when she was one year old and she still sleeps with it she takes the little tags and rubs them on her nose and she just loves her duck so that's definitely gonna be something that goes in our sentimental boxes
What do you think? <laughs> Apart from Addie's clothes and the floor in the hallway, I think it all looks good. <laughs> what do we think? Do you love it? I think I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? Yeah. <laughs> Her stuffed animals versus my stuffed animals. You've been alive longer, so you have a lot more. Thank, Thank you. you, Mama. You're welcome.